Welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today, we are talking about a power probe. So power probes are something that if you do any of your own wiring um, or diagnostic work, a power probe is very handy to have. So these are basically a tool. It comes with a very long cord and it even comes with an extension. Now, I've used this thing, I don't know, a ton, and even the cord that is attached to the unit is long enough that it will go from the battery on the front of the truck all the way to the rear without needing the extension. It comes with two different styles to attach it. So style number one is the regular clamp style, and style number two is the 12 volt lighter plug style. So this is kind of cool to have. That means that you can use it with a power bank or something of that nature if you know you're working across the yard. So keep that in mind. But basically, the way that this works is you connect your leads and they are indicated here. There's a squarish one and then a round one. So you line them up, you plug it in, Connect it to a power source, one second. Once you connect it to a power source, it comes on, you've got some little lights, and then here in the back of it is the probe. So the probe comes out, and then it has a way that you can plug it in. Close to the connection point is a ground cable. So you connect this ground close to wherever you're working, and then you can take your probe and plug it in somewhere and you can check it'll display on the screen if there's voltage or you can push the button and give it voltage. So this comes in handy when you are looking at things like lighting. If you are working on your own lights. So I got some new lighting. It's a third brake light I'm going to put on the back of the rack here. So um, this, that video, the install video for this should go live on Sunday. So tune back in and check that out. But basically, you take the ends of your wires here. I have a red, a white, and a black. So we're gonna connect the little alligator clip at the base to the black. And actually, I'm gonna flip you around and put you on the tailgate so this is easier to see. Now, we can see we have our light set up up here. We are connected to the black for our ground. So now I can touch the probe to the white wire and give it power and I can see that it flashes a couple of times. I don't know if you guys could see that. But it flashes a couple of times and then goes solid. And you can see on the screen there 11.9 volts, 12 volts. That's what's coming from the auxiliary battery I have it connected to. So then we can check and see what's the other wire to. I'll oh, check that out. It's kind of cool. Goes back and forth, kind of fades. So that gives me two different choices on what I want to do with this light as far as when I hit the brakes, how's it going to go. I don't think that the tracking back and forth is legal. I know that my third brake light on the truck right now has that style where it kind of flashes. That'll get people's attention a lot better. So now I know I can connect up my ground, connect up my white wire, and I'm done. I don't even have to use that red wire. I can cap it off, tape it off where nothing gets onto it, and good to go. There you go. Power probe. Very, very handy. Now, when I said diagnostic, when you're working diagnostic issues, sometimes you don't know if maybe you have a bad wire, bad relay, anything like that. So for instance, Let's say you jump in your car, you hit the key, nothing happens. You check in, your battery's good, everything's good, you got plenty of juice, you, you don't know what's going on, but the starter's just not turning over. You can actually pull your starter relay, use this, and you can plug it in on the point of the relay that runs to the starter and hit the button and actually engage your starter. You can check fuel pump with it, It'll do uh, voltage, it'll do ohms, it'll do, there, there's a whole bunch of functions on this. So read the manual, it, it's a wealth of knowledge. Um, I've seen these as low as like $20 up to a couple hundred. I think I caught this one on sale for like 60. And like I said, I use it all the time. Uh, when I did my overhead roof lights, 
I was able to take all those in the house and sit there in the nice air conditioning and wire them all up and check each connection after I did it and make sure everything kicked on the way that it was supposed to in the AC, nice and easy. So hope this helps some people out and uh, check out the install of that third brake light. Maybe it'll give you guys some ideas. Thanks for watching.